parked in front of me here is the 2013 Summit. It is uh, in a new chassis called the XM. Skidoo has really worked hard to refine this chassis to be nimble and uh, the term that we have is flickable. There's very little uh, feedback through the handlebars. The snowmobile will hold a side hill, it'll go through the chatters, it will roll through uh, the tracked up snow with ease. This snowmobile for a mountain rider, for a mountain man, who wants to initiate wrong foot forward, downhill, side hill, turns, technical riding through the trees, boondocking. I've learned today that this snowmobile delivers and it delivers well. Hi, I'm Steve Cowling with Skidoo. Today we're going to talk about some of the changes to the new Summit, the Rev XM platform. We'll start at the front of the vehicle here. We've got a new ski. It's 10 millimeters deeper on the keel, but most noticeably important is that the back here, it's a little bit flatter. That gives you a little bit better bite into the side hill and doesn't let the ski climb up the hill when you're, when you're uh, going across the hill on a, a side hill maneuver. What we've done also is we've taken the spindle and moved the bolt forward seven millimeters on, it, on the bottom. What this does is it re restores a little bit of ease to the steering, makes it easier for you to control the vehicle that way too. So the combination of those two things really help on a side hill maneuver for a guy. The new T-Motion suspension, really unique setup back here. It's a swivel ball joint right at the uh, top of the, the rear arm and the drop link. Allows the suspension to pivot two degrees either side and then also in combination with that we've got a flex edge track. The flex edge track is unique. It uses a 12 inch long rod in it but it's a 16 wide track. So you're getting the benefit of a 16 wide flotation track but you're getting the agility and movement of a 12 inch wide track because it allows the sled to roll up much much easier. We've opened up the running board here at the front of the vehicle. 8 inches more room on the floorboard for you to move your foot on the edge of the running board. What that does, as a rider, it puts you much more in line with where the drive axle is and right where the steering post is. Much easier to pull the machine up this way. Any input you give into the machine now is much, much more effective. One of the other things we've done with that also is the seat back here. It's much shorter than it has been in past years. We've taken the bun off the back of it so you as a rider can swing your leg over much quicker and much easier back and forth. A flatter gauge up top here. This is much flatter for a mountain rider to see when he's standing up, much, much easier. Plus, we've incorporated a glove box in front of that. So between the gauges and the headlight now, you have a, a deep glove box holds about four liters worth of storage. Okay, this year we're working with a, a licensed company called SCS Unlimited Wraps. So what you see here is part of the spring promotion and also available all year long from SCS Wraps are these unique wrap kits. They have them for both Rev XP and the Rev XM and the Rev XS right now. This uh, new track that they've uh, developed, it's uh, the 16 wide, a 2.5 lug, and that's a lot of track, especially in the 163 version. And what we noticed today is in this very, very deep snow, the sled just kept going. It was very impressive. So all in all, all of these changes, I, I can't pinpoint any one of them to be a favorite or any one of them as a standout that just totally changed the sled all together but they all in combination working together make it quite a different vehicle and a very very fun sled to ride.